We have actually gone through the operation of DES. And in order to increase the security of the encryption algorithm, an easy way is to increase the key length. Because as you increase the key length, it becomes very difficult for the attacker to identify the key using brute force attack, isn't it? So therefore, they came up with double DES. And then they realized that double DES is actually prone to meet in the middle attack. Right? So therefore, the most popularly used form of DS happens to be triple DS where the algorithm is used three times. Now what is meet in the middle attack? So let's see what happens. So essentially in double DS we have the encryption process which is done two times, right? So now we know that DES in... So recap of DES, in data encryption standard we know that the plain text is of length 64 bits whereas the key is of length 56. Right? So therefore, the key length is 56. So now, if I use double DS, that means I use the encryption algorithm two times. So I use two keys, K1 and K2. So K1 is of length 56, K2 is of length 56. So ideally speaking, we need to have a security of 2 power 56 plus 56, which is equal to 2 power 112. Right? Okay, so theoretically speaking, the attacker has to try all 2 power 112 possible keys in order to get the key, right, in order to decrypt and identify the key. But that really does not happen. So double DS does not provide a security of 2 power 112. Now why does that happen? Let us observe. So when we talk about double DS, let's see what happens. So we have the plain text. The plain text is given to the encryption algorithm using the first key K1. And then we have the encryption algorithm which is used the second time using the second key K2 providing ciphertext CT. So this is 64 bits, this is 56, this is also 56 and this is 64. Okay, now let us consider this intermediate value as X. Fine, so now the process of decryption is a process where the ciphertext is decrypted using K2 first and then again decrypted using K1 to get the plain text. Right? So now if I write it, the ciphertext is first encrypted using K1, plain text, and again encrypted using K2. So you get the ciphertext, C of T. Now how do I get the plain text? The plain text is obtained by decrypting using first K2. Of the ciphertext and then again decrypted using K1 and then you get the plain text. Okay, so now this is the usual procedure, right? So now what happens because of meet in the middle attack, the complexity is actually reduced. Okay, now this happens because the algorithm is sequentially applied twice, isn't it? So first you have the encryption algorithm applied first using K1 and then you have the encryption algorithm which is again applied to the intermediate value X using K2. Right, so what happens here? Let's assume that the ciphertext is decrypted using K2 and then you get an intermediate value X. So similarly what happens I have a plain text which is encrypted using K1 and I get the same value X here. Okay? So if the attacker has a pair of plain text and ciphertext keys, so what can he do? He can actually apply all combinations of K1, 56 bits here, isn't it? Here also 56 bits. So he can apply all two part 56 keys and he would get an array of intermediate value x. Okay, so you would have 2 power 56 number of intermediate values x. So similarly, if he has the ciphertext, he also would apply all the variations of k2, which is again 2 power 56. And then by comparing, he would be able to identify the value of k1 and k2, which would give me the same value of x. Okay, so if the attacker has many such plain ciphertext pairs, okay, so he did, he need not try all 2 power 112, but by just trying 2 power 56 
and then again by applying 2 power 56 for the ciphertext decrypting he will be able to identify or he may be able to identify the key which was being used that is k1 and k2 right so now what happens here so as i've already mentioned the attacker would try with different pairs of plain text and ciphertext and thereby he will be able to identify or break the code without going in for a brute force attack which provides a security of 2 power 112 so what happens to the security of double ds okay so here i have 2 power 56 keys here i have 2 power 56 keys so it's going to be 2 power 56 into 2 so essentially double ds just provides a security of 2 power 57 right so therefore with such a low security which is being provided by double ds because of meet in the middle attack it is not used and therefore they go we go in for triple ds so it's so when double ds was actually thought of right so they actually expected a security of 2 power 112 because of increased key length from 56 to 112 but then what happened the security just dropped down from 2 power 112 to 2 power 57 because of meet in the middle attack and this is basically because the encryption algorithms are applied sequentially right so this problem that is meet in the middle attack is so meet in the middle attack is not just an issue for double ds it is an issue wherever we have an encryption algorithm which is applied sequentially like this okay so whenever encryption algorithms are applied sequentially one after the other where we have an intermediate value x so in all those cases there will be this problem of meet in the middle attack okay which actually reduces the security of the expected encryption algorithm right so thanks for watching for all the other videos in cryptography and network security please go through the link the playlist link provided in the description do like share and subscribe